Hi, I'm John Bechtel. I'm Claire Evans. Together we play in a band called Yacht. So the first time that we toured in China, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> The last show of our Chinese tour was in Xining, which is on the Tibetan Plateau, and it's extremely far away from everywhere else we went in China. In fact, it's so remote that when we were there, we were the only Westerners that many people had ever seen. So we people would stop us and pretty much interview us and ask us just about our lives if we knew LeBron James, those kinds of questions, yeah. which were totally flattering and awesome. The people that brought us to Xining were these really sweet kids who kept, like, every time we saw them, would, would present us with different ceremonial gifts, none of which we could eat because we're both vegan. So like incredibly oh. intense yak yogurt, just like buckets of it essentially. <laughs> Claire tried some of it. I couldn't do good. it. I couldn't do it if it smelled too crazy. It was fine. So the next day, it's it's the show day. Day of the show. So we get to the venue, which is a shopping mall. We get up to the top and it's a brand new club. Like just opened. And we walk in and it's something straight out of the Matrix. It's steampunk, goth, industrial, Just a Western, confused identity. H.R. Giger maybe a yeah, little bit. Yeah, there's a Giger vibe. It's just like whatever made it there, kind of, you know, to this yeah. like pretty remote part of but China. But then peppered out through this big venue is just so many brand new flat screens with the most confusing graphics. I don't know what they were doing or what they were trying to convey in this club, but they were doing it. And so we walk in. There's five bartenders, and they have these machine guns with laser beams that are coming out of them, and they're all doing this coordinated dance, and it's the, the, so confusing. It's so confusing. Like, there's no one else there. They're practicing, I guess. No but one like. We never saw the dance later. So I don't no, know what I don't they, know. Like, if it was just like a personal project or what. But it's like super dark lasers, and the dance know. is like with the lasers. Like it's they're crossing <laughs> beams in this coordinated way. You're learning. not supposed to cross the beams, but they're doing it. <laughs> Throughout the night, the club fills up to capacity, so it's just tons of businessmen and potential prostitutes all partying with their fruit plates and very elaborate cocktails and drinks. All the video screens are just flashing and doing crazy stuff, crazy disco lights everywhere. The music's pumping, and it's time for us to play. And we start playing, and people are into it. They're clapping, they're cheering. Some people knew the words, and then anytime we would do anything, the security team would just descend on us and make sure that everything was okay to the point where they were handing Claire a towel over and over again to make sure that she could wipe the sweat off her brow. They, they thought that I'd fallen every time I jumped off the stage so they would like <laughs> immediately arrive and like quickly help me up like force me back up onto the stage and, and like come and mop my brow when all, I got yeah, sweaty. All the while completely expressionless. And I was like I'm trying to be a punk. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be cool. So the show ends. <laughs> and then the promoters arrive and they have like they bring us another sort of Parting an gift. onerous amount of dried yak meat. Oh. We're, and, and the thing is that we're leaving, we're flying back to the States the next day, and um, you know, we, it's like we can't like bring yak meat, sort of like unpackaged yak meat, back to America. But we do anyway. They follow us to the airport. I mean, we cannot get rid of this yak meat <laughs> in front of them without <laughs> causing huge offense. So we have it in our suitcase. It takes like half of our suitcase. Yep. And we're just like trundling it to the airport, and they're like, bye, and we're like, bye, thank you for the, you know, like just as soon as they turn the corner, we're like, <laughs> I mean, nobody wanted that yak meat. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>